The Warren Centre is proud again to be showcasing Australian innovation. And it's with great pleasure that I introduce last year's innovation hero, Dr. Bob Johnson of MacTech. And of course, thank you to the Warren Centre for the talk. This is a little fly through from some new software. Um, on the, we're visiting the uh, western part of the United States, some new software we're developing. We went to the Hoover Dam about six or seven years ago and did some scanning there for the new bridge that they put across. And here's the bridge rescanned a few weeks ago uh, using laser scanning. So we've merged uh, space shuttle topography, we've merged Google Earth type imagery, and then superimposing into that and coming down to level of detail as information from laser scanning, our high resolution laser scanner that we, um, we develop and market in Australia. Uh, let you create all of this data. This is all collected in about an hour's, an hour's work on the ground and then assembled together basically within a, another hour or two's work. So the map tech story is a story about risk. Risk is an acronym for R being in the right place at the right time. Basically the confluence of when computers became um, available and commercially ac uh, accessible to, to businesses and also the mining industry evolving. I is for innovation, and innovation's not about in, in invention, it's more about combining uh, knowledge from different sources. S is for success. Success comes from different things. It comes from small rewards, um, not necessarily financial rewards, but uh, success of doing a good job and ultimately even saving someone's life. And K is for know-how. Know-how is combining your own knowledge, other people's knowledge, and bolting all those things together to create an innovative outcome. This is um, an open cut mine in Chile, northern Chile at Chukicamada. Uh, it's the small pit at Chukicamada. The, this is only one and a half kilometres by three kilometres. Um, and we can survey that pit accurately within one hour. Um, way to go. No one even has to go into the pit to do it, just stand around the edge and get a highly accurate, accurate to about uh, 25 millimetres. So it lets you capture information in exquisite detail. This is a mine frozen in time where you've got the um, drilling patterns here, all the drill works, etc. So people have very, very accurate measurements now, volumes, uh, movements, uh, wall movements, all sorts of things. And then once you've got that scan, you can then just model it. And here's the model of that same pit. Um, highly accurate um, without anyone actually walking on the ground at all. Um, Anyway, let me bring, come to the present now and tell you a slightly different story about the rescue of the 33 miners in Chile. There he is. One minute for the last miner has appeared, lifted to the surface and to be in the fire of the nuts. The moon beneath them to the night sky, confetti, flashbulbs everywhere, cameras, the fun. So it proves, this story proves the power of hope. Now, I'm a sort of hard-nosed businessman. I never took a lot of value in hope. Um, but it, hope with action is a powerful force because um, it, it drove people to new heights in their, in their efforts to actually do things in terms of try different things that had never been tried with the surveying of drill holes and the design of the whole process. So as I said, there was 50 holes sunk here, three worked. Um, the three were work were done with, with science and engineering in mind. Um, employ people who can do a better job than yourself, which is you know, one of my key rules, always employ good people. Um, the best you can find, doesn't matter what they cost, just employ them. Because you, with them, they'll take you to the moon or they'll rescue people from underground. Um, take measured risks, it makes life interesting. Uh, you don't want to die bored. Um, and be an innovation incubator. By being an innovation incubator, you can go to new heights and bring other people with you to new heights. So as I say, imagine the outcome and just do it. Thank you.